Hello there guys, we are now talking about learning activity 2, focusing on trip hazards and wires in an ICT environment guys. We're talking about physical safety, so we're actually talking about things that can do you some harm and kill you or cause you some serious injury. Trip hazards are one of these things. Now I've got a few pictures here, if you look at this, look at the mess, okay, you don't these are some of the things you're going to talk about. I'm just giving you this talk to actually get your brain going. Guys, you're working in an ICT environment like this. You've got wires running everywhere. Everywhere. Okay? You are bound to trip on something. You might fall. You might cause injury to yourself. You might actually even electrocute yourself. Okay? And if you look at, on, on exactly on this picture here, these wires are all over the floor, they're a mess, and two, they are in full, full display, okay? As in, the sockets are overloaded, that is one thing, and they are running across the floor. If you look at this picture, you can see that this person's foot is already getting entangled in it, okay? So, we're talking about trip hazards, things that can make you trip and fall. Now, it's not just about you falling, because in, the, in an ICT environment, you have tables and desks and equipment everywhere. What if you fall and you knock your head on a table? Or what if you fall on you, and you knock your head on some really valuable equipment? You're hurting yourself, and you're also breaking the equipment as well, okay? So, two things. You're causing injury to yourself, which is the most important, and you're actually breaking equipment that costs money. So, how do we work against this guys you need to get some trunking trunking is basically if you look it up and I've given you five or six helps links to help you answer this question they are like little pipes in which you can pass wires around the office you can also get cable tie downs okay they're sold all over the shops okay in the pound shop whatever you can get some and you can tie down your cables okay I'll just show you an example of trunking okay this is an example of trunking here this is also another example. This is a different one. Okay, it's quite square. Okay, if you look here, you can see that this person here is using trunking. Okay, and you can see the wires being passed through a little metal tube, a little uh, circular tube. And here is another example of trunking as well. It's in a different shape, but it all does the same, um, it, it achieves the same effect. Where the wires are hidden away from people, they are tucked away away from where people are walking and away from where people can reach them or away from where people can kick them okay or just in a funny way you can actually look at this cartoon here this guy has got a lot of papers which he's obviously picked up from a printer he's walking and there is this cable this woman has her laptop plugged into a, a, uh, a an electrical point far away from her and this man is just going to walk into it and fall and probably injure himself okay I know it's it looks a little funny but in real life guys it's not really funny when you injure yourself okay these are all examples of what you could do you could actually tie the cables down as a temporary measure or as you can see here there are two options you can either leave the cables to trip up this woman or you can actually trunk them okay by tying them down and using trunking equipment okay and the next thing is it's not safe Again, just to point this out, okay, in terms of fire safety, this can actually cause a f an electrical fire because you're overloading the socket. Each socket, each power socket can take a certain amount of power drain, as in a certain amount of equipment attached to it. So if you have too many equipment attached to it, you might actually short a circuit somewhere and start a fire. And that is what you want to talk about when you're talking about trip hazards and electrical wires in a workplace. Now please go and do it now. Thank you.